He's won bronze medals via Chich at European level as a junior and a youth. Went to the World Youth in 2018 as well, but didn't medal. Got to the quarterfinals of the European under 22s earlier this year. It's Leo Sivatolovic. Svitanovic. Oh, Bosnia hurts uh, Gavina. Won the Black Forest Youth Cup earlier this year. 20 years old. Both of these two, 20 years old. So young fighters in operation here. Ferrara Puerto Rico in charge of this one. So Vircic, Croatia in the red court, Svitanovic, Bosnia and Herzegovina in the blue. Two orthodox fighters, tall fighter Vircic. Could use that that height and reach, you would have thought, looking to whip that uppercut, long uppercut through the middle there with the right hand. Svitanovic with those braids. Looking to try and track Vijic down and get up close and get to work. Look for a big right hand over the top there. Right to the body from Vijic. He's landed that a couple of times already. Vitanovic at the moment just chasing him around a bit. Led off with the right hand there, Vijic, and then followed it with the left. Solid shots. Looking to jab off the back foot. The dy dynamic of this one was established early on. It was the kind of dynamic you would expect when you see the different statures of the two fighters. It doesn't always follow that the taller fighter will try and keep it on the outside and the shorter fighter will look to muscle their way, slip, bob, weave onto the inside. But that is what we've got here. He's got a strong look to him, Svitanovic. He's got a wide back. There's some strength there. He can get some power from rotating that waist, you would imagine, if he gets up close. Right hand to the body there. But it's been difficult for him to land much so far, heading into the final minute of the first round. Slightly more success there for Svitanovic. Referee just warning him about keeping the head up. He's shorter than Vircic. He's not really bringing it in in a dangerous position necessarily. Or being careless with it, really, is what I should say. Touch of gloves between the two. Vircic's round, but signs towards the end there that Svitanovic was just beginning to track him down a bit more effectively. And when you fight like he does, dropping the first round will happen relatively regularly. But if you get to the end of that first round and you feel like you're, you're getting there, like you're beginning to find your range and you can pick up where you left off, then, then you're encouraged. You're encouraged enough. And that was Vircic's round with the judges too. 10-9 across the board. 
but you need that. You need that that optimism to take into the second and third, that belief that you can get to your opponent. They might have won that opening round, but you can make this into a different kind of a fight from this point on. Again, look for a big overhand right there. Svitanovic at the start of the round, and it did get through. Too close there, Svitanovic. Moves off to his right nicely there, though, Vircic, hooking on the move. uppercut there, a couple of uppercuts, three maybe, the first one definitely landed, the other two didn't get through quite as sharply and cleanly, but nevertheless still registered, the first one was a really good shot. off the back foot again there from Vircic and he's coping with this kind of frontal assault from Svitanovic well. It won't be the first time that he's had to cope with this kind of style of course. He'll have found himself up against it regularly because he will generally speaking be the taller man. Boxing is 75 kilos, he's not freakishly tall but he's on the tall side. Turns southport, nice combination. Jab up right hand there from Vircic. Looking for a gap around the back of the guard. Aims the uppercut, didn't land it that time. Svatsanovic never stops coming forward, but when it comes to cutting down the ring, he's not particularly adept. He does tend to chase Vircic a bit. And he's got good feet, Vircic, too, so he's, he's managing to find the exits. I'll be around for the red corner, I would imagine. And it is across the board again, so two sets of 10 nines. So he's got a commanding lead now, 20 points to 18 with all five judges ringside. And Svitanovic has just got to throw all caution to the wind here and rampage forward. That's pretty much what he's been doing. And Vyacic has, has had the answers. He boxes well off the back foot, throws that jab up from the waist, tries to snap it down the middle can hook on the move and when he needs to dig his toes in and really give it to Svitanovic and stop him in his tracks he's been able to do that too so it's been a good all-round display from him so far so third and final round Gabriel Vircic of Croatia in a commanding lead here. Two rounds up with all five judges. He's in the red. Leo Svitanovic of Bosnia and Herzegovina is in the blue. There's that long uppercut from Vircic. Gets good range on that. And then just ghosts away across the ropes. Good use of the feet. And Svitanovic is coming forward even more than he was before. But again, there's that long right hand. It's good variety, that. He can flick that jab, he can throw that 
kind of single lead right sometimes, but then that long uppercut works too. He had it cocked and ready to go there and in the end decided not to throw it. There's that hook on the move that I was talking about, just occupies his opponent, gives him time to find some clear open ring. No knockdown. There's that uppercut, measured that uppercut. Very, very well. He can take a punch, Vitanovic. That much we do know. He's not a massive punch of Ircic, but he's a sharp punch and a nice right hand on the inside again there. He gets his feet where he wants them. And so his balance is good. So when he when he throws, although it's not, as I said, hugely heavy, it's heavy enough because the weight transfer is there. Right hand to the body. Look for that early in the fight, not so much since. And then the jab. It's Vitanovic. You can't fault him for effort. He's come forward right from the very start of the fight, from the from the opening few seconds, and he's never looked hurt at any stage, but he's just not been able to do anything with Vijic at all, really. And there's a bit of damage there to the eye, to the corner of the eye. The blood looks like it'll run clear. And that's a shame for Vijic, that really is. He's, he's 38 seconds out from the, from the finishing tape here. And this is all he needs, is to take some facial damage into the next round. It doesn't look too bad. I can't get a great look at it from here. And it's, it's hard to tell at a distance at times. There isn't an enormous amount of blood coming from it. So with a bit of luck, that's... That's not going to cause him too many problems going forward. There's that uppercut again, and Svitanovic is pursuing Beatrice right until the bitter end here. But he's going to lose this fight three rounds to nil. There goes the bell. And good performance from the red corner. Just a bit unlucky that he picked up that cut right at the very end there. But he boxed really well. And we'll go through to the last 16. So three rounds to nil with all five of our judges. That was a pretty easy one to score. And a good performance. So it'll be Vijic up against Sam Hickey in the last, last 16. And that takes care of our middleweight action in this afternoon session. Next, we head into light heavyweight, the round of 32, where we've got eight fights for you in that 80 kilo division. Pierchich with his hand raised. <laughs> 